Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kyle, the Lawn Mentor here. And today I wanted to talk about a new product that I'm gonna start using to try to help my nine bark shrub grow a little bit better, a little bit faster, and a little bit bigger. So stay tuned and let's check out 402 Flora Green. So if you've been following along on my channel for a little while now, you probably picked up on my spoon juice videos, my attempts to use that exclusively on one section of my lawn, and also to try to see what it would do for a nine bark shrub that I've had in my yard. I have a flower bed in the front of my yard that has this nine bark shrub in it, and I picked it up at the old uh, homey Del Pato, brought it home in the fall, planted it, it was doing pretty well, and then as soon as the colder weather got here, it started to lose its leaves very quickly ahead of any of the trees or anything around here. It just didn't look right, it looked sick, it didn't look like it was thriving, and so I started to look into fertilizers that I might be able to use to try to help bring that plant back. So I stumbled onto Spoon Juice and heard about it when it was coming out as a great fertilizer that could be used for the lawns. I've given it a try on my shrub and I've had some great results. It's been really good. It has definitely brought back some color and some more growth to that shrub, but I've been checking out a lot of the other YouTube channels like SoCal Lawn and Order, and uh, Pacific Northwest Lawns. And Chris and Nate have both been turned on to another Green County Furt product called 402 Floor Green. Even Alan Hayne, the lawn care nut, has used this product for fertilizing his plants outside of turf grass. And this, in fact, comes bundled as a package with Humic, RGS, and Microgreen in a four-way package of supplements or fertilizers that you can use for your plants around the home outside of your turf grass. So if we just take a look here at the label, we've got 4% nitrogen, 2% potash, 1% sulfur, 1.5% iron, and then humic and kelp. Hold on, this sounds really familiar. Yeah, what is this? Hold on a second. This looks a lot like Spoon Juice. Spoon Juice is a 501, Flora Green is a 402. They've both got nitrogen, potash, sulfur, iron, humic, and kelp. So what's the difference between the two? So why should I even buy it anyways? Is it just a fad? Is it just something that people are throwing a label on and putting on their shrubs and other plants? Is it just another product to try to get you to buy it? And here's what I found. How about new? No. So yes, it does have some similar ingredients to spoon juice, but it is not the same exact thing as spoon juice. 402 Flora Green has 4% nitrogen in it. And if you look at the label, there's actually three different kinds of nitrogen that make up that 4%. You've got urea nitrogen, ammoniacal nitrogen, and nitrate nitrogen. If you take a look at spoon juice, you've got 5% nitrogen, but that comes exclusively from urea nitrogen. So what is the difference? The types of nitrogen that are in each of the products is where I think flora green shines. Specifically, the ammoniacal nitrogen and the nitrate nitrogen are more readily available for absorption into our plants. Urea nitrogen is still able to be absorbed into the plants, but not directly. It's my understanding after doing some research that the microorganisms in the soil have to actually do some 
breaking down, and I think it's like a two or three step process to actually break them down into some nitrogen that can be taken up with the plant directly. Nitrate nitrogen is able to bond and carry with water and be taken in up through the roots of the plants directly. So I think this is probably why from a chemistry perspective, 402 fluorogreen is a product that is more so marketed towards trees and shrubs and palms because it has nitrogen sources in it, but the nitrogen sources are more readily available to those plants so that they can be taken up. As opposed to the things that we put into the soil where our turf grass lives that kind of live in there, get broken down by microorganisms and can be taken up by the plant as it needs it. These fertilizers that we're putting in things like garden beds and stuff like that, we don't want to wash out quickly and uh, not have a chance to get taken up into the plant. That's my interpretation of why this is such a great product. John Perry, feel free to light me up and tell me why I'm wrong. But uh, that's my understanding. And so is it worth it to buy flora green over spoon juice to fertilize your trees and shrubs? Well, we're gonna find out. We're gonna switch over to 402 flora green, try it out, see what kind of growth we can get out of the plant, see what kind of response we get and see how it goes. 402 Flora Green is a very versatile fertilizer and it comes with a lot of application use cases. Now, because I'm only going to be using this fertilizer on one specific shrub, I'm not gonna be covering a whole bedding area or a group of plants. I reached out to some of my other friends in the lawn care community and specifically spoke to Chris from SoCal Lawns for advice on what kind of application rates I should use for my nine bark shrub. After talking about it, what we decided on was going with a two ounce rate per one half gallon of water for this shrub. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure out two ounces of floor green and I'm going to get that mixed into a watering can and then apply that directly over the top of the shrub. This product is able to be taken up by the foliage and the stems of the plant, so this is totally okay to apply to shrubs. However, you want to be careful when you are applying this to flowering plants that once they've reached that flowering stage, you don't pour this directly on those blooms because it will stain those blooms. So just like I mentioned before, I'm going to go ahead and put this in a watering can and then drench the plant itself. I am going to put a little bit of water in the watering can first, then I will go ahead and top it off by rinsing out my measured out amount of concentrate here. And we'll just go ahead and pour that over the top of the plant and we should be good to go. So I got my mixture here of half a gallon of water with two ounces of flora green in this watering can. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump this over the top of the shrub. So just for a point of reference, this is about how big this watering can is. And this is, I don't know, six inches, four inch taller than the watering can. You can see we've got like one, two, three, four, five main branches. The foliage on this shrub reminds me of fall and fall is definitely my favorite season. So we'll see how this does. So Flora Green is kind of like a multi-purpose fertilizer that Green County Fertilizer came out with to uh, help us have something that we can use that will specialize in trees and shrubs and flowers and even our garden. It's got a lot of the things that we talk about in lawn care that your lawn really needs and it's all bundled up into one convenient package. So that's it guys, a quick video on 402 Flora Green. It's similarities and differences to the new Yard Mastery product Spoon Juice and uh, we'll see how this does on this shrub. I will be sure to post some updates on my Instagram and also keep you updated through my videos here on how that shrub responds to that. See uh, how much growth we can get out of it before we go into the winter time. If you have any questions about Flora Green, if you have any questions about how to use it, when to use it, how much to use, feel free to drop me something in the comments. And if you like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I hope you'll consider subscribing. Thanks to those who already have. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.